Hi, my name is Greg Shockley, corporate chef with the Kansas City State Company. Today, we're talking about the Kansas City State Company Prime Rib Roast. Now, Prime Rib has a hearty, deep, rich beef flavor like no other cut of beef. The problem is most people never think about cooking a prime rib at home because it's too difficult that they have to be a professional chef to cook this. Well, now you don't. We've truly taken all the guesswork and all the work out for you. Now, this is one of our prime rib roasts, and this is what most people don't cook one because there's fat and there's bone. So what we're doing is we're taking all this fat off the top and all the bone off of the bottom and leaving you simply with the best center cut, beautifully marbled prime rib roast. Okay, with our Kansas City prime rib, this is what you're gonna wind up getting. Beautifully cleaned, it's a little bit of fat on top, but that's the characteristic that makes a prime rib a prime rib. You can see we've even netted this to allow it to cook evenly and hold its shape during the cooking process. Now, we sell different kinds of prime ribs. We have some that have a pre-rubbed, but this one right here is the original. We're giving this our steak and prime rib seasoning, which we're gonna put all on the outside here. Now a prime rib has a, typically has a crust on it, which makes it absolutely wonderful, crunchy on the outside, and beautifully juicy, tender on the inside. So we're gonna put this all on the outside here before we put this into our oven. Now the gourmet guide that's included with each one of these orders is gonna give you the full instructions on how to cook this prime rib roast. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this in our preheated 375 degree oven until we get an internal temperature of 130 degrees. Now it's important to use a meat thermometer for this. You don't wanna guess with this one. So once you reach 130 degrees, you're ready to take your roast out. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in now. Now while the prime rib is cooking, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how it's packaged. Now your prime rib is gonna be vacuum sealed, flash frozen to ensure freshness, and shipped in a styrofoam box with dry ice. Now, you wanna give at least three days in your refrigerator for proper thawing time. In about an hour before you're gonna cook your prime rib, you wanna take it out to allow it to come up to room temperature to allow for even cooking. Okay, I think our prime rib is about the right temperature. We're at about 128 degrees, 130 degrees, perfect medium rare. Then we're gonna allow it to rest 10 to 15 minutes, just to allow those natural juices to climb right back up into the roast. So let's go ahead and take this out. Okay, now that our prime rib has rested, we're gonna go ahead and remove our netting and start carving. So whether you're having this for your holiday party or your family get together, this is gonna be the perfect centerpiece for your table. An amazingly juicy, beautiful cut of beef that you'll be so proud to serve to your family.